welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most underappreciated and overlooked films of 2023. That's a, like a fight club? Well, here's yes! the thing. Yes! Uh, yes! Uh, yes! Number 10, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. Let's just say Guy Ritchie's filmography is a mixed bag. Luckily for us, the English director's recent output has been fairly strong, including this action war drama. You're out of your bounds, Ahmed. You're here to translate. Actually, I'm here to interpret. While many were expecting yet another hollow depiction of the Iraq War, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant delivers an impressively crafted and stirring showcase for all involved. Jake Gyllenhaal's Master Sergeant John Kinley is saved in Afghanistan by his interpreter Ahmed, played by Dar Salim. Must have been quite challenging to find me. But after Kinley is sent back to America, Ahmed is left behind, sending him to lead a rescue mission. Trust us, the tension is high with this one, as is the quality of filmmaking. Number 9. Blackberry There's no question about it, Matt Johnson's Blackberry is a blistering business biopic. film follows the spectacular rise and fall of the BlackBerry cellular phone and the people behind it. It's best we end our relationship with BlackBerry. <laughs> John, we're just getting started. While the true-to-life exploits may differ slightly, the film zips along with entertaining mayhem and some genuine laugh-out-loud moments. It's like the Force. Sorry, have you seen Star Wars? No. Glenn Howerton and Jay Baruchel lead the cast with crackling performances. The snowballing chaos is only elevated by Jay McCarroll's urgent score. It's fall in Blackberry! It sends and receives email messages. It is also a cell phone. The Blackberry phone may be a forgotten relic of the past, but this film definitely deserves to be unearthed. Number 8. Strays. This is a nice neighborhood. I like all the trash and the needles. So many needles. Josh Greenbaum's Strays is not just some silly talking dog adventure. Well, it is a talking dog adventure, but that adventure includes canines excessively humping lawn decorations, relieving themselves on each other, eating magic mushrooms, constantly discussing their genitals, and swearing up a storm. Did we mention this is not for kids? Which is too bad, because I'm the only one who knows James is a cold-blooded serial killer. He's got three bodies buried in the backyard already. The most important thing, of course, is that the Looney Tunes-type hijinks lead to genuine laughs. The film also boasts a surprising amount of heart. And what can we say? Will Ferrell as the voice of a naive border terrier is infectiously fun, as is a fiery Jamie Foxx as Boston Terrier Bug. Looks like she hasn't been washed in years. I'll see you later, baby. Yep, Strays is a surprisingly body good time that deserved better at the box office. Number 7. Joyride Keeping with underappreciated comedy films, Adele Lim's Joyride stands as a major win for diversity and debauchery in cinema. Are they coming out? Yeah, but only seven, and I think I put an eight. If you get a clean one, could you just um, keep me posted? Here, we follow Audrey and her misfit gang of friends on an unhinged journey of bonding and belonging. The film hits all the right R-rated comedy notes, taking plenty of chances in the raunchy humor department. Trust us, they go there. And with authentic chemistry among the cast, each bringing their unique virtues to the table, Joyride becomes an affecting comedy trip worth taking. I get it. It's between you and me. Thank you. Zip. Number 6. Nimona From Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, 2023 was a memorable year for animated movies. However, with all the massive blockbuster offerings, many smaller animated films got lost in the shuffle, including Netflix's Nimona. Who are you? The name's Nimona. Uh, and how did you- Whoa, yeah! Sick arm! Uh, did it bleed a lot? What? Did they let you keep the old one? No. Chloe Grace Moretz voices the shapeshifter Nimona, who teams up with Ballister, a knight framed for murder, voiced by Oscar nominee Riz Ahmed. Overalls made it much more evil airy in here. <gasps> evil airy. That's a great villain name. You should totally change your name. Never gonna happen. With colorful bursts of energy, fantastic voice performances, and a wonderful message around what it means to live life as an outsider, Nimona stands as a true movie gem. And the best part? It's waiting for you right now on Netflix. Hey.
You ever put your head in the mouth of one of these? Should have just stayed in jail. Come on! You know you wanna! Number five, a thousand and one. How long you been on the street? Long enough. Where are your people? Gone. A Thousand and One is incredibly rich and bursting with dynamic performances. More on them in a bit. Firstly, we need to highlight the film's director, A.V. Rockwell. This incredibly skilled picture stands as her feature directorial debut. Rockwell not only showcases every inch of a bygone Harlem with nuanced detail, but directs her talented cast to some truly unforgettable performances. But life goes on, so what? As long as it's your call, right? Who was the one who made the choice? Standing in that hospital. Did you use my mother? Lower your Tiana Taylor's motherly turn is beautifully complicated, while Josiah Cross's output as her teenage son cuts right to the bone. This depiction of a mother-child dynamic is one that deserves to be seen, if not just for the performances and direction alone. Now hold it right. Hey, talk to me nice. I got this. Number four, the Royal Hotel. So you're gonna have to be okay with a little male attention. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. When cash-strapped U.S. backpackers Hannah and Liv take a job in a remote Australian pub, it's nothing but simmering suspense and danger at every turn. Directed by Kitty Green, the Royal Hotel stands as an excellent exercise in cinematic eggshell walking. What's going on? Just having a smoke. Just having a sneaky. What? No, get her out. <laughs> <laughs> you only just got in love. What? No, get her having out of the car. Let it's also an effective gender critique effectively showing the various power dynamics and workplace misogyny that still exist in the world today. Plus, Julia Garner and Jessica Hennig shine in their respective roles, with Garner being a particularly potent force, not unlike her character in Ozark. <laughs> Trust us, The Royal Hotel is one movie you won't want to check out of. Number three, Bottoms. It's no stretch to say that Bottoms was one of the funniest movies of 2023. Excuse me, could the ugly, untalented gays please report to the principal's office? Guess that's you guys. It's just too bad not many people saw it. Writer-director Emma Seligman's Bottoms is essentially about two horny teen girls who start a fight club to help them get laid. Sound over the top? You're not wrong, but the scattershot hijinks are grounded by delightful performances from Rachel Sennett and Iowa Debery. What's your plan here? I don't need a plan. My mom has a business, all you have to do is yell. And while there are certainly parallels to 2019's Booksmart, Bottoms stands as its own unique brand of raunchy comedy. Oh, and did we mention that it's very funny? The boys of American Pie walked so the girls of Bottoms could run. Go! Number two, When Evil Lurks. If you were to talk to horror connoisseurs about their favorite movies of 2023, you'd likely get an earful of why When Evil Lurks is a must watch. La iglesia murieron, doña. Murieron. Everyone in the film's rural Argentinian farming community knows the seven rules for dealing with possessing spirits. When Pedro and his brother Jimmy gather that a man in their region is an encarnado, more plainly, a possessed creature, they proceed to fight, then flee, all with calamitous outcomes. <laughs> and unlike the plethora of other possession movies that center on religion, this one places the focus firmly on character's family, making it a personal journey. Add in compelling performances and relentless dread, and you've got the most underappreciated horror flick of the year. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Godzilla Minus One Did you catch the 37th film in the Godzilla franchise? 
You're not alone, as Godzilla Minus One has been unjustly overlooked in North America since its end of year release. <laughs> But let us tell you that this kaiju film demands to be seen. But don't take our word for it. The movie has been unanimously praised by critics for its skilled direction, cast performances, cinematography, and screenwriting. And with awe-inspiring action sequences and visual effects, many consider it to be one of the best Godzilla films ever. Like the epic destruction on screen. This film deserves to be a huge smash. Did we miss a movie from 2023 that merits a second look? Let us know in the comments. I think that's a good uh, place to, to maybe wrap up. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.